How's everybody doing tonight? Good. Yeah. Wonderful. Good. How are you? I am blessed. Yep. Me too. I am blessed beyond measure. <laughs> we are a small crowd tonight. Woo! Yeah. That's right. Okay, all right. Good. Two or three? Two or three. Two or three are gathered, he is in our midst. Amen. Yep. Yes. Amen. So he's here, amen? Amen. 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 Can we just stand up, please? I'm going to use you later, so before I ask this question. Anybody got a testimony about what God's doing in their life? Go for it. Jonathan, for a week straight, had, he's seven months old, he had 101 fever, and it finally broke this week. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Somebody that normally doesn't give a testimony. Anybody got one? <laughs> That's what most of the adults are doing too. Not me. Don't look back here at me. I'll share some. Yeah, nothing to be Go ahead, sweetheart. Um, about a couple weeks ago, um, I ended up having to go to the hospital because I was having chest discomfort and problems with my arm and my hand. And um, they did a whole bunch of tests. They were like, okay, well, all the tests came back normal except for one. They said that I had a blood clot in my lung. Oh, no. And they said that uh, I'd have to have a CT scan because it could uh, just be a false positive. And I mean, I was, I was praying and trusting in God because I knew that you know, he would see me through. Sure. And before I even had the CT scan, they looked again and then they said that there was no clot or nothing. Oh, praise okay. God. So here, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Today has been kind of a weird day. So, I mean, it's been a good day. But I think this is where I'm at, and I think I need to share this with you guys because I think this is where some of you guys are at also. I'm having trouble, like, breaking through and having a really, really, really awesome just experience with the Lord. Anybody else kind of feeling that? Like, you know, just kind of not being able to bust through, you know? Well, here's what we're going to do. If we're being honest with one another right now, this is our time to break through. We were mentioned by my brother over here about two or more gathered. He is in our midst. Guess what? That means he's here. Yes. So if he's here and we're here, that means he wants to have an experience with us. Amen? Yeah. So the only way we can have an experience with him is if we're able to break through and say, hey, God, I need you. And that's the number one thing I've learned. And this is kind of what I'm going to be preaching about tonight a little bit. So, if you're having a struggle with breaking through, this is your time. Amen? This is your time. So that's what I'm going to pray to open up service tonight, is that you have an experience with the living God. And that we have an experience with the living God. And I break through, and you break through. And no matter how many people are here, or who's here, or who's not here, we're able to break through and have an experience with Jesus Christ tonight. Amen? Amen. So Lord God, precious Heavenly Father, my awesome, awesome Dad, my awesome Lord, my awesome uh, provider, my Jehovah Jireh, Lord Jesus, yes. provider to all my needs. Lord God, you, you have every one of our problems. You have every one of our circumstances. you got every one of our bills, every one of our kids. You've got everything, Lord Jesus. And all we have to do is say, hey God, we need you. We need you to touch each and every issue that we've got. I thank you for the testimonies tonight, Lord God. We've already had church. Awesome testimonies, Lord Jesus. But Lord Jesus, I'm asking for more. I need more of you, Lord. I need to walk out of here totally refreshed, Lord Jesus. I'm tired. So Lord God, I just ask you to touch us tonight, be with us, that you remind us, Lord God, why we're here and how much you want to touch us and how much you will love us and how much you want to be with us and how much you want us to break off our things and our issues and our problems and our experiences, Lord God, that hold us from you, that we would just place it all at your cross, that we would be able to have that experience, Lord God, that we would walk out of here changed, that we would walk out of here new, refreshed, overflowing, Lord God, with your love. 
So Lord God, I just place myself, Lord Jesus, at the lily of your cross. And Lord God, I ask that you uh, just touch this worship tonight. You touch this message tonight. You touch us tonight, Lord God. That each and every one of us tonight, Lord God, would walk out of here with something new and something that would help us to make it through the week and the weekend and the months ahead, Lord Jesus. So we love you tonight. We need you. We will experience you tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. The church said, Amen. Amen.